This is a computer-generated image of what could be the world's fastest car. It's called the Bloodhound. It's powered by a jet engine with a rocket on top. Maximum speed, 1,000 miles per hour. That's quicker than a bullet fired from a handgun. Five times faster than a Formula One car. Engineers from Swansea University have helped design it. We took an initial concept for a land speed record car um, and we've been modelling the aerodynamic flows over that car using a, a large supercomputer. The kind of work that you might traditionally have done in a wind tunnel, we do here at Swansea University in, uh, in a big supercomputer. Um, and we've been informing the, design, the designers of, of the Bloodhound vehicle and, and evolving that concept to a point where we really think we have a car that can achieve 1,000 miles per hour. It's all done on this computer system. Each colour represents a different pressure, a different equation the engineers have spent months working out. And in a year's time, project leaders will be ready to test it, a challenge for everyone involved. The bodywork is going to have to stand loads at the order of 12 tonnes per square metre. The wheels have got to go round at over 10,000 RPM. This is the ultimate, absolute ultimate engineering project. Swansea University has been developing the technology for 25 years. As the thrust supersonic car broke the sound barrier and the world record in 1997, our engineers celebrated. They'd aerodynamically designed the car. A huge achievement, and now they want to inspire others to get involved. We want to get engineering out of the shadows. We want to encourage young people to think of science and engineering as a career of choice. The final world record attempt takes place in three years' time. This is an engineering adventure that could speed Swansea into the history books once more.